Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do some more painting. I'm going to set up my canvas and easel here and uh, pull out some brushes and paints and get started on a new project. Uh, this one is basically for people that want to paint trees and want to um, see how I paint trees. Uh, I do it different ways, so I'm just going to kind of make this a practice canvas for now and uh, we'll see what comes up. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out some paints here, check to make sure what I got is okay. Uh, some of my stuff's getting a little dated and old, and we'll just figure out what we need. Definitely going to need some water, so we'll just fill up a jar with a little bit of water, and hopefully that's enough to get us through this video. Should be. And, uh, oh yeah, going to need that. Uh, I always mix my paints on just anything, and of course my brushes, I always like to see how my brushes are doing. Will this work? I don't know. We'll find out. I always like to use like maybe two or three brushes during a paint uh, job. I think we're gonna put in a sky and then some dirt or something. Maybe put a tree right in the middle here and uh, show you what I do um, as far as painting a tree. Um, I'm not sure what's gonna come of this, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully this will help some people out there that want to get into painting or something. I think we're just going to go ahead and put some paint on the canvas just like that and call it good. Now we're just going to find some blue. Hopefully this is going to work for us. I think that was uh, uh, ultramarine blue. I'm not sure. Yeah, Got to clean it out and get some of that old stuff out of there. Ugh. Geez, what am I making here? Crayons? Oh, geez. Well, that's not good. All right, well, let's see if anything can come out onto the canvas here. Uh, that's enough. All right, good. Um, we'll just kind of mix this up a little bit with some water, and hopefully we'll get a sky or something out of it. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. And we'll just keep mixing some blue and white here together. Hopefully something will come of it. Maybe adding some water will help. I don't know. We are using acrylic, so uh, there's no oil or linseed oil or anything like that that we're doing here. We're not painting with oils. We're just painting with good old acrylics. They seem to dry fast, and uh, you just use water to thin them out and mix them up. Guess I need a little more white on there. So we'll just blend that into the sky and uh, see what happens. Just fill in wherever. You can paint any which way on a sky. <laughs> you can paint up and down or side to side. Actually, when I'm, when I'm done, I usually uh, will go side to side just to kind of blend all the colors together. So we'll see how this sky turns out. Okay, I think that does it for the sky. Now we're just gonna put in a quick little background scenery here, scene, uh, some mountains and grass or whatever, and then now we can get started on our tree. No, no, we're not gonna get started on the tree. Hang on guys, I think I found some old paint here. I'm not sure, maybe I can, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Uh, oh well. All right, so got some brown paint on my canvas. We'll just spread that out. Um, I'm not always doing trees, so I don't know what colors to put together. So I just throw whatever on the canvas and see what see what a tree looks like when it's done. I'm not by far at all a professional here. We're just gonna make some squiggly lines for branches and uh, see what comes about. I don't know. Um, I'm just struggling here guys. I don't know what trees, uh, what colors to put on trees. I'm not very good at putting down my highlights. So I'm just gonna throw some stuff together here and kind of throw a quick tree together. I don't know. We'll see what happens here.
All right, I think I'm done with putting some branches in. Now it's time to put some leaves on here. I'm just gonna put some color down on my little palette board here. And uh, yeah, I got some old paints. Don't judge me. Uh, I don't spend any money on anything. So my paints are getting old. So we're just gonna throw in some green here and use the, uh, uh, what do you call those brushes again? Oh, fan brush, that's right. Um, yeah, I paint all the time, you can tell. So I'm using my fan brush to just kind of indicate leaves on a tree here. Um, you can do it any which way you want. It's fun to experiment, that's what I do. Every time I paint, I'm always experimenting to see what comes out. And uh, so we'll just uh, do a fan brush on this side of the tree, and then we'll uh, do the tree in another style here with a uh, shorter brush. Um, we're just gonna make uh, big leaves. Um, this side of the tree, we'll make it into a maple tree. And that side of the tree, I don't know, we'll call it an ash tree or something, or smaller leaves. Um, just playing around with a different look here. Um, this is just, again, just for fun and uh, just to see what this tree winds up looking like when it's done. So again, you know, you want to start out with dark colors and then add your light colors afterwards. Uh, if anything, uh, it's kind of like a, a Bob Ross thing, you know, you put down your darks first and then you put down your lights just to highlight your leaves, just to see how your tree turns out. I'm really not going with uh, any specific lighting uh, angles or anything like that. I'm just throwing some dark and lights on top of each other just to see what comes out. Um, again, I'm not a professional painter. Uh, this is just for fun and laughs and uh, see what comes out. But, uh, anyway, just going to throw some dr dry glass, grass, glass, glass? I don't know. I can't even talk. Uh, dry grass blades and some green grass blades. Uh, kind of mix it up a little bit. And, yeah, I probably should have put my shading in first, but oh well, we can we can do that now. And uh, if we have to fix our grass blades that we already did, we'll fix them up. It don't matter. Again, guys, this is just all about having fun with paint colors and throwing something onto a canvas. Um, if you're just learning, uh, you know, don't be afraid. Just grab a canvas and start squirting some paint on it and see what comes up. Um, if, you know, if, you, if you're decent with knowing what colors go with what, um, generally speaking, um, I think just using uh, the same color but in different hues uh, especially when it comes to you know plants and things like that that you got a whole variety of color going on and, uh, and then you can always accent these things with an, like pink flowers just the way they are in nature so um, that's what I'm doing now just adding that I wasn't even planning on doing this part I was just gonna do the tree all by itself and end it there but uh, I decided to continue going on because I was having some fun with this so um, yeah, it was kind of fun to do. So I hope you like this painting and uh, I don't know, maybe do some more in the future here. Uh, see you guys and thanks for watching. Um, yeah, if you want to subscribe, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below and we'll catch you next time. Thanks a lot.